Hi everyone, today I want to share with you another design team project for the Wild Bunch, the Wild Orchid Crafts YouTube design team. And I will put all the links to Wild Orchid Crafts in the description box below. And this time I created another fall project and I altered a wooden box. And I will put all the links to the items that I used in the description box below as well. And I love all these fall colors. So I will show you the items that I used first. And I use this beautiful black lace, it's one of my favorites. And I absolutely love the design. And here's the product code, it's MKX-597. And the next thing that I used is a couple of these 50 mixed brown with white Cosmo daisies. And the code is MKX-125 and I used a couple of those as well. And I also used some of these 50 mixed brown tone open roses, the 25mm ones. And the code is MKX-072-25 mm And I used a couple of those throughout the project. And I also used some of these mixed earth tone trellis roses, the 35mm one. And the code is MKX-095-35 mm I really love these flowers as well. And last but not least, I also used some of these beautiful earth tone tea roses, the 40mm ones, and the code is QVR-018. So I used a couple of those as well. And now I will show you the box that I altered. It's a it was a plain wooden box, it came like this, and it has a magnetic closure. And this is what it looks like. I used the Prima engraver paper line. And here you can see some of the beautiful black lace. And I used some flat back pearl trim from my stash and I adhered it all the way around. And I also adhered some paper to the bottom and I have some black flat back pearls as feet. And I colored all the papers with my Distress Ink black soot as well as some of the flowers. And I will show you the inside first. I painted it with black acrylic paint and I went over it with some Inca Gold in two different colors. So I'm going to put some candles inside here. And this is the top of the box. I will give you an overview first. And I created an explosion box and here you can see some of the curled papers. And I inked them with black soot and I went over it with some black acrylic paint mixed with sand. And inside I have some Spanish moss from my stash. And I have some fall decorations from my stash. I purchased it at a local store. So here I have a pine cone and a cinnamon stick. And this is a little mushroom. And here is one of the beautiful 25mm open roses and I colored it black with my homemade spray and I went over it with some Inca Gold as well. And here's one of the 40mm tea roses and I went over it with black soot and some Inca Gold. And here is one of the Cosmo Daisies and here's one as well and they're all from the same pack. And here's a white one. And here's another 25mm open rose. And here's one as well. I hope it shows. It's kind of hard to show black flowers. And here's one of the Cosmo Daisies as well. And I colored it with my homemade spray. And here's one of the beautiful tea roses, the 40mm ones. And this is one of the trellis roses, the 35mm ones. And let me see, here's another beautiful tea rose and I colored this one as well. And I went over it with some Inca Gold. And here are some more of the 25mm open roses. And here's another one of the Cosmo Daisies. I really had a lot of fun altering this box and creating another fall project with the beautiful flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. And I altered this box to go with my fall lantern. So I think 
they match quite nice together. This is my fall set and I have some pictures at the end of this video and please check out all the links below and uh, all the wonderful ladies from the Wild Bunch. Well, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all having a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!